You've got your new Stages power meter installed on your bike, and now you're wondering, how do you hook it up to your Garmin? So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. Like I said, I'll be showing this with a Stages power meter, but these steps should work with any power meter that connects to a Garmin through Bluetooth, and any sensor for that matter. So this should work if you have a heart rate monitor that also connects through Bluetooth to a Garmin. Now I'll be showing the steps on a Garmin Edge 520, but the steps should be pretty similar if you have an, an Edge 510 or maybe one of the 800 series or maybe even the 1000 series. I'm not familiar with that, but usually the Garmin's work the same and these steps should help you. So with the Garmin powered on, you wanna to go to menu. So you're gonna use the bottom left arrow, go to menu, then scroll down to settings and use that button to select. And then you're gonna to go to sensors. And then we wanna to go to add a sensor. So make sure the blue highlight is on add sensor and you're gonna hit the select button. Now we wanna scroll down to power. Hit the select button. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna spin the cranks. So spinning the cranks will wake up the power meter. Now you just wait for the Garmin to see the power meter once you've woken it up. So you should see it, and if for some reason you don't, make sure the battery is good, and if it's a brand new power meter, make sure the little coating, little plastic coating they put on the battery has been removed. They do that to keep it from activating and shipping. So just make sure that's removed. And now we're just going to select Add Sensor. That is the sensor ID. That should be ready to go. Now the next step, is to actually have power as one of the options on your screen so you can see your power information. And, and now I'll show you how to do that. So to add power to one of your screens, you're gonna go back to menu and you're gonna go back to settings. I'm gonna scroll up to go right to settings. Hit the select button. And then you wanna to go to activity profiles. And then you want to either create a new one or just select one that you already have created. So I'm gonna select train, that's the one I use the most. And then you want to go to data screens and then whatever screen you want to put the power information on, you would go to that screen. So I'm going to go to one. I already have it on there, but I want to show you. So you just, I'm going to do screen two. I think that's where my power information is. And yes, my top field, field one is my power information. The one that I found the most useful is three second power. If you just go to direct power, it fluctuates way too much and it's hard to get a good steady power reading. So I select the three second power. So you would go into whatever field you want to change or add and you would go down to power. So there's power and you've got a bunch of different options. Uh, like I said, the one that I found the most useful on the Garmin is not this one, not power, but one that says power three second average. That's the one that I would recommend you doing. Now, if you wanna have one screen dedicated to power, you could add a bunch of fields for one screen and have you know, 10 second average, direct power, uh, or the three second, 30 second. But the three second, if you're just gonna have one, that's the one that I would recommend. So just to show how it appears on the screen, so I've started a ride, and this is where my three second power in watts will appear. So those are the steps to add a sensor to a Garmin Edge 520, particularly the Stages power meter sensor, but it should work with other sensors as well. And these steps should be similar to other Garmin's. It's just gonna be a little bit different user interface. Hopefully these helped you out. If they did, give it a thumbs up for me. If you don't mind, that helps me out. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.